Okay, good day. Richard Musgrave Evans here and welcome back. Today we're painting early morning light on the Murrumbidgee River. This should be a bit of fun. We've got morning light, beautiful reflections, the sun's only just rising. As usual, I've just blocked in the darks. I'm painting on a white canvas and I've put a wash of it over it with our raw sienna just to take the harsh whiteness out of it. Alright, let's just get into it. Haven't got much time to talk because the light is changing. Okay, biggest differences. Now, as I said, I've blocked in the shadows of the trees. I'm going to go for the water next. So we'll go white, burnt sienna. You can see that mixing, yeah? White, burnt sienna. Viridian green. Quite a pale colour, might just bung a bit of yellow away through in that mix. Oops, got a bit too much white then. Yeah, it's got more yellow ochre, so we'll put that in. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, just pull some of that through like so. Being pretty broad because I just want to get it in quickly before it changes. Pulling it through. Just gonna have to mix up more of a brew here. More green, yellow ochre. Okay. Right, so that's the basic There's your basic uh, reflective colours I'll just put some in down here That's the foliage reflecting in the water Finish with vertical marks Right, let's get that sky in. I'm going to need more colour. I've underdone the colour, but for now, I'll be right. So I'll mix up a brew of yellow ochre, white, burnt sienna. Try and get that uh, nice horizon colour. There's a lot of light in the sky because we're kind of half looking into it. Oh, what do we do here? More yellow. Oops, a big chunk of burnt sienna thrown in the mix. Some more yellow ochre had to go into that, there's too much burnt sienna in that mix. Okay, get a blue going, white, light blue. Mix it in with that yellow oakery brew. Get a nice pale green blue going. Coming down like so. A bit more blue in there, a bit more yellow ochre to rich in it a touch. Down in there. Go a bit darker, a little bit higher. Bit of red thrown in it now. Yeah, a bit of red. Using magenta as my red, I like magenta.
get that all uh, going on the top here. You're going to have to forgive that sheen on the pellet. I did not expect that, but um, what can I do about it now? Mixing up a brew here of a warm, fairly neutral sort of colour. That's the base of the water there. Pull them into each other to get a bit of a blend. Now, hang on, I'll stand back and have a look at that. Okay. Looking up, sort of a dark neutral ish shadowy colour in here. Where we go here? That bank's gonna be here. Okay, a more burnt skin, a bit more white. Here. Yeah, hang on. What do we got here? Gonna need some more of that green, so I'll just mix up a brew. More burnt sienna in it. Let's uh, the sky colour to lighten it. Let's get that bank colour in. Distant bank. Cat orange. Maybe a touch of magenta with burnt sienna. Just got to establish where this bank's going to be here. A bit. Dusty nose. Alright, stand back. Pull through. Pull through. Gotta put a bit of a headland out here. It's quite complicated because they're very subtle phones. Got a bit of a headland out there. Okay, start off with bigger knife so I can get some blending here just got to blend all that water in that sky first because uh, it's a little bit higgledy pivot at the moment let's just go pull through downward mark keeping it clean you can see immediately how much that has turned more into a reflection clean pull through I might have to, what have we got, okay. That's it. Pull 
go up there. Go up there. Go down. Because I want to get those soft reflections. That's quite important in this picture. doing here is blending sky on the same sort of thing pulling through half smearing half blending a bit more mixing like so to blend all those tones okay Stand back and have a look. Okay, now I decided I'm going to bring that water a little bit further up here. The reflection will do it. No. More water there. And then I'll jut the uh, Bam bank into it in, in a minute. In fact, I'll do that now. Bam bank. Okay, we just got to position that right. Let's have a look. Bank on the other side, and there's a little bit of a little bit of foregroundy stuff here that I'll just bung in. See if I can get it in amongst this corner here with this big clumsy knife. that massive knife down for a minute and work with a slightly smaller one. Biggest differences is some nice highlights. First there's some more white that you need. Using the tubes today because uh, I thought with the smaller painting I might as well use tubes but I've ended up using tons of paint I might as well I should have used the tins maybe. Not to worry, not to worry. Green Sienna. Much more of that green, I reckon. It's always good to have plenty of paint on board. You don't want to be too stingy. Otherwise, you end up with a sort of a messy, wishy, half done thing. Okay. Some of the sunlight areas go a bit lighter, so I'll introduce a bit more, a bit less green and a bit more uh, yellow ochre and cat orange. Lightly touching. Nice 
likely pulling through. He's got to vary the colours all the time. I notice on the other side over here is a bit paler green, so I'm using white, yellow ochre and viridian green. Just uh, add a little bit there. Okay, yeah. Drawing that foliage in. When you're working with a fleeting moment like this, there's not a lot of time for anything. <clears throat> Clean an area here. Orange, white. There's the truth. And yellow. You can yellow and sting it up a bit. <clears throat> Some of that yellow with it. See that works well. Just going to put some highlights here where the sun's hitting. Actually, slightly smaller knife. Adding the highlights where the sun's sort of catching the edge of the bank, the edge of the trees and whatever here. Constantly working around the subject now, what have we got? Biggest differences again. Okay. Blue, magenta, white. Of a neutral colour, so I better burn the end to kill it off a bit. Put in the edge of that bank. Let's stand back and have a look. I was just getting some of the bottom edge of that bank in. Take a little bit of paint off here to make that line thinner, it's better. Okay, now I'll go a bit darker for a slightly closer bank. Just here, I just want to put a bit of a line on. Oh, that might be too thick, might be alright. Few branches in here and there. Take some of that paint off. Make a couple of uprights, a couple of sticks hanging down into the creek.
gonna kill that off. Move all this. Fleeting moments with uh, not much time. Not much room on the pallet. Just clean all that out of the way so we can start again. The white, yellow ochre, burnt sienna. Trying to get a blue. White, white, a bit more blue, only a bit of the sky coming through the foliage. Of a blue accent around the edge of the sandbank. Some more shadow down through there. through lightly with a clean knife just to soften the edges a bit got to keep that knife very clean with that sort of technique grab like so and just lightly pull through off white blue very light tone More blue in that. Actually, wrong knife. Go for this little slightly squarer end one. I'll put a little bit of pale colours into the water. Just a 
Lock it up a bit. Pale green, quite pale green is, hang on. Constantly aware that I've got to stand out of the way so you can see it. Cut this back a bit finer. That had paint on the end that I didn't actually mean to do. Let's just uh, clean that off a bit. Okay, what have we got? Blue, magenta, white. Move all this to one side. Pure white. Viridian green. Make up a very light brew of Viridian green and white. Now get some yellow ochre. Pure yellow ochre. Half mix it into it. There's a bit of sunlight hitting the grass here. I don't know how to yell at it. So we're getting a bit of light coming through, direct sunlight, which is good, which is lightening up all the cooler tones that I originally put in. Uh, where are we? The white gets messy very easily. With all these warm and cool complementary colours, the white can get messy very quickly, so I always like to keep a fresh fresh white there. So you can keep it clean.
few branches here and there. Move that one off, bend it a bit. Okay, now I'll just stand back and have a look at that one. Alright, well that's uh, the basic overall effect. Morning light, reflections and whatnot. So uh, what I'll do is I'll get the camera off and let you have a look. No worries, thank you. Okay, so there's our shot into the morning light. Well, not so much into the morning light, the light's just off to one side of us, but the morning reflections with a bit of sunlight and shadow. Now you can see I'm quite soft with the reflections, downward marks. You got your bank in the distance, and then you got your sand bank here. And what I've done with the sand bank is played with beautiful, subtle colours, the cool tones of the shadows. You notice the sandbank actually has quite hard edges and with those hard edges contrasting the very soft water the two really pop against each other. Now that we've got all those cool colours it's good to throw in your sunlight colours. In a basic uh, sky which has got, because you're looking into the light you've got warm and cool bank on that side. It's a basic overall effect. Now as you can see here I've had a bit of fun because I've been going so hard but I tried to keep the colours clean. Cobalt blue, burnt sienna, lizarin crimson, yellow ochre, cad orange, cad yellow, white, magenta, ready and green. You can see I half mixed the colours to get the uh, sunlight through them. And here uh, this is the, uh, the cooler colours and you can see that I've half mixed again that gives those really stingy effects. Alright, so there you go. Signing off, thank you. Right, here we are, signing back in now. I started to pack up. And uh, I realised I could just get a little bit more, as the sun's gotten higher, there's a little bit more strength has come into the colours. So what I've decided to do is uh, I've actually hit the highlights a little bit more. Let's have a look here. You can see I've really put that bright sunlight effect now hitting there. I've really played on some more stronger lighting effects to contrast the uh, well, accent, I should say, the, uh, the distance there so your eye gets drawn to it. Just a couple of blobs in there, and those are really bright, warm tones. Contrast all the coolness and give you a stronger painting that I had only a second ago. You can see it's easier to read when it has uh, the extra strength of the warm tones rather than just being a wishy washy, cool picture, I guess. It gives you some more contrast, and your eyes really get let in. And then you have some dynamic, dynamic marks to really make the painting live rather than just being a so-so painting. And when you're there, it always feels like that anyway. When you're standing in nature and the sun rises, it feels grand. So paint it grand. Okay, there you go. Okay, now don't forget to subscribe. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Until next time, cheers.